Guys, welcome back to the how-to series. We're getting down to the last couple of videos, and in this one, I was actually just going to, it's basically a remake of one of my earlier videos, which a lot of people liked as a successful one, but it wasn't done in HD, so it might have been a bit hard to follow along, it's a bit blurry. So I was just gonna remake that one, and just with a little bit of a twist on this one, this one's just gonna be a little bit different. So basically what it is guys, it's a deep dropping rig, but not for right out wide, it's more for 100 to say 200 meters, chasing like big pearlies and things like that, small bar cod, flame snapper, that sort of fishing. Um, even kingfish and stuff in that sort of depth, this rig will um, handle quite easily. Anyway, uh, enough about that, let's get to it. What I've done, you probably see here, I've already pre-cut pre some bits and pieces, got the hooks out, got it all ready. I've only got two hooks out. I need three, because this is actually a three hook rig. Okay. And not like other deep drop rigs. Other deep drop rigs, you'll see big massive hooks and stuff on them. I said this one's only around 150 to 200. I more use this for like pearlies and kingfish and stuff like that. Okay, so three hooks. So, we'll get to it. First of all, you're going to need a decent leader and your branch line. So this one's going to be the main line down the centre. I always use black magic. So 200 for the main line. And there, I think that's 100. That's going to be the branch line. That's where the hooks come off. Okay. Very simple to, very simple to make. I'll show you how to do this, guys. I've got my plier, trusty old pliers there. As we go along. All right. Pull a heap of line off. First thing we're going to do, guys. Very first thing we're going to do is just get a crimp on the end, just a decent swivel. Like this is probably about 60 kilo swivel or so. So just a nice heavy duty swivel. Uh, I'm gonna use a black double crimp for this. Generally, I don't. I'll use the bra, I mean the chrome ones. That's the ones you should be using. I just haven't got the any to fit. I lost, I'm, I'm all out, bugger. So I'll use these black double ones. These black double ones work well too. Um, I just prefer to use the uh, chrome ones, but these will, these will work fine. So anyway, that, we'll put a bit of protective tube on. So I've got a 1.2 mil tube. I'll just cut it to about an inch long, it's protective tube. Okay. Now we'll just double that over. Put it through the crimp. Slide it down like so, you can see the tube bending. Like so, but I messed that up. Don't do that, put the swivel on guys. <laughs> Now we'll do that again. Okay, so there's your swivel tube crimp. Now what we'll do is we'll crimp that down. I just done a video not long ago on how to crimp and how to crimp these, so you've got to see that. I'll crimp that down nice and snug, not too tight. Don't crimp the ends, you want the ends to flare out. Like so. Now basically, you want roughly a metre or say an arm's length, good arm's length between the hooks so they don't tangle. So grab this, put it in the middle of the chest here, measure out. Okay, that's one, so that's the first hook. Two, there's a second hook. Three, that's the third hook. Now one more, four, and that's where we're gonna cut it off. Number four at the end. I'm gonna cut that off. Okay, so that's, that's gonna be your main line with three hooks on it. Now what we do is just get these crimp on swivels. They're swivels with the crimps. Ones I've got here are Shogun, okay. Uh, these are, what size are these? These are 1.8 mil sleeves, and they fit this 200 pound black magic perfectly. So now what we're gonna do is just put one on. Just gonna put all three on, guys. Two. There we go, three. Three symbols on. Now on this end now, Basically repeat the process before. So crimp, protector tube, and another swivel. Same same size swivel, okay? So you got a swivel on each end. I'll explain how that works at the end, what, what we do. Now once again, just put it through the crimp, pull it down, so it's like so. Crimp it. And one. Once again, don't flare up the ends, just still in the middle. There's two. You can see that nice crimp beautifully, it's not gonna pull out. 
Now with these three on here, doesn't matter what end you start from. We'll just, okay, so I've got one end here, I've got a crimp. So once again, pull that along. You can see I've got the swivel here. Pull it through until it's basically the length you want, the arm length. Okay, you see, see the crimp there and the swivel and it's about a metre long, roughly. That's where you're going to crimp that one. So once again, with these crimp on tools, all you have to do, if it's the right size for your line, is just crimp down the end. But once again, don't crimp right up hard on the edge. You want to crimp in a bit so you flare out the ends. Just crimp them down like so. That's it. That's not going to slide or pull off, pull anyway. That's crimped on. Okay. Now I'll grab this one. Grab your next swivel. Slide it along. So it's about an arm's length. You see it here. You're going to crimp that one on. And when you're crimping, if you're going to use these exact size crimps, guys, and line to make this sort of rig, uh, your smallest hole in the end crimps them down perfectly. The smallest one on your crimping pliers. And these are a jink I set of jink crimping pliers, if, in case you're wondering. Okay. Now what we do is get the last one. So once again, crimp swivel, there's the other swivel. Pull it through until it's about an arm length. There you go. Down once again. That's it, done. Now, if you grab that one and slide along, you'll see it's roughly, it's a bit longer, but roughly an arms again, arms length. So, you've got your swivels there ready for your branch lines, your swivels on each end. Now, that's your, that's your main line, that's done, that's made. So, what we'll do is we'll put that away. Now this is 100 pound, this is going to be your branch lines, in other words your hooks. So what I'm going to do here, is, I'm going to do them, nah that's not long enough, what I'm going to do. Maybe from the scissors there to the end of that, about there. Okay, so a bit over a foot or so, I'm going to cut that about there. So you cut one of the length you want, then measure it up, and you just cut the other two exactly the same length. I'm cutting these ones a little bit longer because I'm not because they're not going to be crimped on. They're going to be tied. So there we go. There's three all the same size. Okay. Now with this one, this is where it's different than the other one. The other one I crimped the hooks on, and with circle hooks, they still do work when they're crimped, but they work even better when they're tied, especially with the snell, with the line going through the front. Okay through the front of the hook. And that's what we're going to do with these ones. We're going to tie these hooks on for better hook up rate. You don't want to run all the way out there and drop down 200 meters just to lose fish or miss strikes. So we'll up the ante and make everything as best as it can be for this rig. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to just tie just a basic snell on these hooks. So through the eye, a bit of tag, doesn't matter what, which way you tie the snell, just tie a good snell. Okay. Okay, that, there's that one. And I don't know if you guys can see, well that, I actually done that wrong. I actually done that wrong, wouldn't you believe it? <laughs> through that. You want the line coming out the front of the hook guys, not the back. That's what I done wrong there. I wasn't thinking straight. So you want it like that. Line out the front. Always. Okay, there's one. Uh, do this one again. Should be alright. It's just demonstration. Two, see out the front like so. Perfect. Down the eye, just do a couple of wraps around the shank. When you wrap that wrap down the shank, just you know five or six times, guys. I don't even count half the time, I just do it until it looks about right. That yay. 
Three to the back. Pull up tight. There we go. So three hooks all on. Now the fun part. Start dressing them up. Generally you run Lumo squids and stuff when you do this, but I've just got these things, so I'll just put them on. It's just to dress it up, make it look fancy. I've got Lumo tubes and beads and stuff there, so they'll work fine. So different coloured skirts. And they can go on. And then I'm gonna put a Lumo pink bead. Then another bit of protective tubes, Lumo, so once again it'll act as a attractant, but it'll also help with the raspy teeth on the line. So just make up three hooks like so. Different colours, whatever, it doesn't matter on the colour. It's more of a you know, attractor. A little bit of a protector. And I think it makes it look good for fishermen. I don't know if the fish down 200 metres is going to really care too much. But the lumo should definitely help. See another one? Just... Uh, put a bead on first. See, there we go, there's three hooks already made up. Different colours, looks all fancy. Hooks are snelled on. All right. Now, getting down to it. You already got your branch line you made here. I think these crimps, this is like 100 pound. I'm pretty sure these crimps are like 0.9, like 0 0.9, so they're very small. But they fit this 100 pound beautifully. So once again, we're gonna, we're gonna crimp this end on. So crimp on, and instead of using the clear protective tube, I'm just going to use a Lumo, a bit more of a protractor down near the hook end, down near the bait, that's all. Now we're just going to crimp it under these holes we put on before. Once again, put it through. Pull down, there you go. Nice loop there, how's that? We'll crimp that on, and being the small swivels, only small crimps, we'll use the end, the last one in the India Jink Eye pliers or whatever brand you got and that squash them down once in the centre absolutely perfectly so there's one now these guys, these rigs aren't that hard to make guys as you see take a little bit of time but if you do what I've done, sort of done here you get everything out pre-cut everything just sit down, cut a, cut a heap of stuff out, get all your crimps out Put them all together on a pile, and then you can whack these rigs together fairly quickly. I'm taking my time just for the video. Usually I can do them in half this time once I get it all set. Uh, crimp on. There we go, second one down. Well, this, nearly done a deep drop rig. This with a twist, you tied the hooks on instead, instead of crimping for a better hook up rate. Like I said it's a long way to go and fish in deep water. You want to give yourself the best chance as possible, so tie the hooks on with a good snell. But make sure it's a good knot. Some of these fish out here, you don't know what you're going to hook. They're quite, quite big and powerful. So just make whatever, whatever knot you do, you use, whatever snell you use, make sure it's a good one. And make sure your crimps are all done properly because if there's any, any faults in this gear some of the fish out there will find it and they'll break it anyway guys there we go so here's the deep drop rig swivel first hook like so second hook do my tube and we go down same see third hook and then on the other end once again we have another swivel okay a quick explanation for the swivels. The one doesn't matter which one's the top and bottom on the tree, they're about the same. So one goes to your main line, a snap swivel on your rod. Okay, snap swivel. The other end, your sinker end, what we do is we run a short, you know, about a foot long, uh, 50 pound leader, 50 pound mono, and tie your sinker on that. And that's the breakaway. Okay, guys, it's better to lose a sinker, lose a $40 sinker 
than to lose the whole rig, sinker and whole rig and fish. So from this we run a, sometimes I run 30, but generally a 50 pound, 30 to 50 pound. Okay, about a foot long, breakaway. So if your sinker gets snagged, you break your sinker off and you don't lose a whole rig. That's the whole idea of that. Anyway guys, I hope you liked that one. I hope it's a bit easier to see than the last one I've done. In HD, it's a lot nicer. Deep drop rig, ready to go. Um, after this closure, a friend of mine wants to go out back to the pearly grounds. We've got pearly grounds in 130 to 150 metres. So hopefully we'll get out there soon and we'll put, show you how these rigs work. Um, anyway guys, I'll see you tomorrow, I think, for the last one in the series. And then back to normal. Thanks guys, bye.